Hello everyone, this is MC Rich S and MC Canadian Dollar. Welcome back to Ghost of the Doll 78. Originally, I was going to do a review of the Disney Illy Forever Aladdin doll. And <laughs> so, a funny little story. What happened was, I filmed the video. I uploaded it to my editing app and then deleted it off my phone. Which, surprise, surprise, deleted it off the video editing app too. And I just didn't have the anything to refilm it. So we'll, we'll do that at a later date. It's also like 28 degrees here in my little corner of the UK and it's very hot <sighs> and it's really humid as well so that's another reason why i just didn't really want to film again so instead what i thought i'd do is i did a little poll on my youtube channel and a lot of you wanted to uh, wanted me to do a tour of all my dolls so that's what we're going to do not all of them i'm just going to do the ones that are in my doll room i do have them scattered all over the house like a tiny little doll body farm but we will get to them all i promise so without further ado let's get started so on the top shelf i have the Rainbow High Pacific High Pull Set. We have Finn, Phaedra, and Coco de Pearl or Pearl de Lay, I've forgotten what her name is. And we've got the orange one. So coming down onto this shelf, this is some of my Bibby Bow collection, so let me just make some room to see the ones at the back. The tan ones, if you remember from my Bibby Bow video, the tan ones are the B period dolls. All of these were fixed by my good friend Maria of Seven Turquoise. You can follow her on Facebook, YouTube. She's got an Etsy shop and she's very, very good. So here, this is one of the A period dolls. You can tell that because she has very she has the pale skin oh, it's so hot in here here is come here this is another a period don't again maria's fixed it Here is a B period doll with a rare hair colour. She has two tone hair colour. This is, oh, I think her name's Caroline. And she's from the American soap opera Days of Our Lives. These are all, El, she's an El Greco doll, as the other Bibi Bows are. And if you just give me one second, I will show you my Bibby Bow Rockers. Okay, so starting with... <sighs> I'm so sorry for all the huffing and puffing. Oh, I'm really hot. So this is either Boss or Bruce Springsteen, depending on which box you got. This is Sandra. 
in a flare doll outfit. This is Bibby Bell in her original outfit. This is a variation of Sandra in her original outfit. And this very naughty lady here, this is Madonna in her original outfit too. The guitar is an original Bibi Bow Rockers guitar. Don't flash your boobs. Don't do it. This is the family channel. Going up one. These are my pride and joy. Barbie and the Rockers. In the UK, they were known as Barbie and the Rockstars for some reason. I don't know why. So we have... I'm not even going to bother naming them because <laughs> other than Barbie Ken, Derek and Diva, I don't know. So he, this is my sushi restaurant. This is a Rika-chan sushi restaurant. This is the second edition, I believe. My lovely friend Leiko in Japan sent it to me. And I will show you it working if I can... F there we go. And the sushi goes round and round, look. Isn't it cool? So this is Ellie-chan, who is a Daiso Rika-chan clone. Oh, okay, she's not going to bother saying it. She normally says, I stand corrected. She did say it. And watch, look, look. little tea thing even goes. Isn't that precious? So, this is a Franken doll that I cobbled together. I got the head and the body separately. This is Papa. This is third generation Rika chan. I don't know who these two are. I'm not sure if that's Mickey or Mackie. This is Isamu Kun. Well, I guess she didn't want sushi. Now I'm wrecking everything. So we're going to move down one. On to the Rika Chan shelf. So at the back. I didn't think this through very well. So we have Haruto Kun. I'm going to move the ones in the front out of the way so you can see the boxed ones. This is this is Haruto Kun again, but he is on a BTS Prestige doll body. This is Isamu Kun. I have my Rikas. Here, she's a third generation Rika. Another Isamu Kun. 
the Isamu. This is Petworks 8 with Gencom. Gencom. I'm not sure what his name is, the little baby. So here we have Sweet Decora boxed. And I've forgotten what the panda's called. Hatsune Miku collaboration. School uniform Rika. I'm just going to have to move everything out of the way. A McDonald's Rika Chan, who was from my good friend Jamie. And I've just moved the alley out of the way so you can see the pink kimono Rika Chan. So I'm not one for keeping things in boxes. I, I just don't believe that toys should be kept in boxes. Toys are meant to be played with. And I do. I play with my dolls. So here is Jenny and friends. These two should really be on a celebrity shelf because they are part of the group oh, AAA. Couldn't tell you what the names are because everything on the box was in Japanese. Let's just scoot them across. Oh wow, 12 minutes long. Okay, this video is going to be longer than I was expecting it to be. This is why I said I'm just going to show you some of my dolls. So this is a Jenny Friend Kisara. This is Starlight Jenny. She has little twinkles in her eyes. Boyfriend Jeff. Jenny again. This doll, these two dolls here are Mabe Barbie dolls. When Mattel ended their license with Takara to produce Barbie, um, they basically just renamed all the Barbie dolls Jenny and um, because the mould and the head mould and the likeness were tacker as they could do that. So Barbie then went into partnership with Bandai and the collaboration was called Mabe. And then Bandai, I don't have any Bandai Barbies, but Bandai, after the licence ended, they carried on making Barbie. So here, this is my custom pop idol Jenny, who I made myself. She's in a Jenny fashion. This is an actual Jenny dress. Jenny earrings. And I rerouted her hair myself. This is Francois. This is June. June is the boyfriend to, I've forgotten what her name is. I don't have any of the, she's basically a Korean Jenny doll and I don't have any of her to show you because the shipping from Korea is horrendously expensive. So coming to the back, this is Ellie. Jenny friend. Jenny had hundreds of friends during her production and I have like three. So this is Mabba Ken who I think is one of the loveliest boy dolls that I have and I have a lot of boy dolls. And this handsome chap, this is Takara Ken, 
in the Yukata. We'll scoot everything back. So I will do I'll do one more shelf. I'll do the celebrity shelf and then I'll stop because otherwise this video is going to be hours long. So let's go down. So these are some of my celebrity dolls. Not you, Rick Rick. And we've got Donny Osmond and little Jimmy Osmond at the back. New Kids on the Block. That's Kelly from Saved by the Bell. Oliver from It's the Best of Both Worlds. I've forgotten what the show's called. Hannah Montana. There you go. We've got Rosie. This is a gift from my friend Jamie. I'll just pop her out of the way. So here are Lily and Hannah, who my good friend Laurie sent me. Oh, there you go, more new kids. I was a massive new kids fan. This is Chat Noir from Miraculous. It's Jafar from the live action Aladdin film. And Shakira, I think the, the Shakira doll is absolutely gorgeous. And we've got Hagrid there. Now, I had a few telltale signs that I was gay when I was younger. But I was, uh, I was fascinated with John Knight. That's his doll there, look, behind uh, Dame Maggie Smith. Okay, so I'm going to leave this there and I will do a part two at some point in the near future. Hope you enjoyed looking at a small part of my collection and I will see you in the next one. Bye.